Today I am reviewing the Corsair Vengeance DDR3 memory modules, a 24 gigabyte kit. I recently installed this 24 gigabyte kit and it is awesome. I'm going to be looking over some quick specs here. This is a specially selected RAM for overclocking and performance. The Vengeance series is just one above Corsair's vanilla. This is a high performance 24 gigabyte Vengeance kit for triple channel systems running at 1600 megahertz at a latency of 9, 9, 9, and 24. The 1.5 volt VDIM specification makes for compatibility with x58 or 1366 socket i7 processors. I paid about $330 Canadian for mine. Package contents uh, include six 4 gigabyte RAM modules. It's designed for use again with a six slot um, DDR3 x58 motherboard. Uh, it has a lifetime warranty. Uh, it's 24 gigs. It's high performance 24 gigabyte vengeance kit for triple channel systems. When you install your DIMMs, it is a good idea to make sure that you have clearance in your motherboard before you put the RAM modules in. Make sure that you push them down firmly at both ends of the slot. Make sure that the RAM's facing the right way before you start pushing them in. And make sure that the clips snap up into a fully locked position. Make sure that all of your RAM is installed and visible through the BIOS and through the post screen. That's the first thing. The next thing, after entering the BIOS, what you should do is save a copy of your current BIOS into a profile. Most x58 boards have an option for an overclocking profile. Save it into your overclocking profile. The next thing that you want to do is turn your overclocking tuner to, or your advanced overclocking features, to XMP. It's important to turn it on to XMP. The XMP will show you the voltage values, the QPI voltage, and the DRAM bus voltage will be set automatically when you turn on the XMP. After you set the XMP, feel free to turn it back to manual and set those voltages yourself, or leave XMP on and set the other voltages and the clocks to whatever overclock you would choose. When you enter into the DRAM timing control, or your memory timing control, this RAM works at 9 CAS latency, 9 RAS to CAS delay, 9 RAS pre-time, 24 RAS act time. Everything else I pretty much leave on auto. The reference cycle time is a major reason why X58 boards don't show the proper amount of RAM when you're in your operating system. The clocks are automatically set to 140 on my motherboard and that kept me from recognizing all of my RAM in Windows 7. So, set the DRAM clock for 100 for reference cycle time. So there you go, the 24 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance triple channel DDR3 1600 megahertz kit. It is a wonderful kit and this RAM will overclock a lot. The reason for having this much RAM is to do things like run a RAM drive, large renders using applications that use that much RAM, AutoCAD programs and whatnot. Also, if your operating system can use more RAM, it will use more RAM. I sit at nearly 4 gigs of RAM on my operating system almost constantly now. Programs that I've already opened once in a single session in Windows 7 will open more quickly in the future. So $300 on a kit that gives you 24 gigs of RAM I think is a pretty good deal. For all of the people out there who don't understand why you need this much RAM, again, if you have that much RAM, your system will use it. If you like this review and you would like to see more, or you have any suggestions on reviews, please comment and subscribe below.